everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming Marvel Legends Iron Man 6-inch figure 2-pack, which will be released as a Target Store exclusive. Now, this set comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've seen with other Marvel Legends figures for 2016. You've got the black box with the Legend Series logo up at the top. The figures are clearly displayed in the window box packaging. And then down below, we have the names of the characters. And for War Machine, we have the Captain America Civil War logo, since this is a movie figure. And then for the Iron Man, we have the Avengers logo, though technically this is more of an Iron Man 3 figure than an Avengers figure. And it also tells us that the Iron Man figure is a concept series figure. On the sides of the packaging, we have images of the actual figures as opposed to artwork. So on one side, we have an image of the Iron Man Mark 27 figure. And then on the other side, we have an image of War Machine. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at both figures with brief bios in multiple languages. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at both of the figures outside the packaging. Now, first of all, I'm going to look at briefly at the Iron Man Mark 27, and then we'll take a more detailed look at the War Machine figure. Iron Man figure, which is nicknamed Disco Armor Iron Man, is just a repaint of the Age of Ultron War Machine figure. These are exact same figures, just with different paint applications. Uh, just like with War Machine, you've got the cannon that plugs in the back. You've got the two holes, so you can plug it in on either side. This this cannon is painted with a light gold metallic paint and you can rotate the cannon and you can uh, lift the cannon up. You can't really elevate it up too much though. I don't really like the design of this cannon. I didn't like it on the war machine and I don't like it too much on this figure either. It's just kind of hard to get it in a pose where it's facing forward correctly without looking kind of silly. So again, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, shoulder cannon design. The figure itself, I think, actually looks pretty good. Obviously, it's got a very unique paint design, which is why it's nicknamed Disco Armor Iron Man. So you've got a very neon orange and then a metallic blue throughout the armor. And then you've got that same kind of gold as the cannon for like uh, these joints here and the joints up here on the shoulder pads. The back is just blue with the orange. Now this orange up here on his upper back where you plug in the cannon is, is not as neon as the rest. And you can see a little bit of bleeding through uh, of the blue. But for the most part, I think this is a pretty solid paint job. He's got the white eyes. And then for his arc reactor, it's just painted. He's got this white dot and then they've got some wash work around it to make it kind of uh, look like it's kind of bright. So even though this is just a repaint, it is a unique re repaint. It'll actually probably make a nice addition to your Hall of Armor. Articulation I'll go over real quick, exactly the same as the War Machine from Age of Ultron. You can look left, you can look right. No real down movement, no real up movement. He's got the shoulder pads which have a little bit of articulation to it. You can get the arms out good. Now you can't rotate the arms all the way around. You can do them forward and back, but because of the shoulder pad you can't get it all the way around. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double hinged elbow, so good bending there. He's got hinges on the, uh, or he's got swivel at the wrist, and then he's also got hinges on the hand. So he's got good down movement, but because he's got these little armor plates that come over his hand, he can't really do the hands up at all. He's got a midsection joint, so he's got rotation there, no real crunch. He can look back a little bit. Legs are attached with ball joints, so he can do the splits good. You can get the leg forward about that much, and you can do the leg back pretty good. He's got a high thigh swivel. He's got a double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. And then for the feet, you've got a little bit of up and down movement, but because the armor comes down over the feet, it really limits that movement. So not a whole lot of movement there. Definitely no ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so moving on to the War Machine figure, which is probably the figure all of you are going to be buying this set for. The figure has a number of different accessories. So first of all, he has this thing that's called a battle baton. And I believe this is something that will appear in the movie. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do, but he, you just stick it in his hand and he holds it. So I don't know if it's like an energy stick or something, but it is something I think it is in the movie. And it's just painted with a dark gray, and then you've got red paint in the middle, which I think is supposed to be electrical energy of some type. You've also got a little bit of uh, red here down at the bottom of the handle. 
Besides that, he has a shoulder cannon, which plugs into the left shoulder. It's got a square hole here at the top, and you're supposed to just plug the cannon in. Now with mine, it just fits in loosely. It does not fit in tightly. Hopefully that won't be the case with your figure, but with mine, it's definitely loose and has a tendency to sometimes fall out. The cannon itself is a dark gray. You can rotate the cannon, and you can elevate it up and down. And I will note that on the on the images on the box, the tip of the cannon is painted red, whereas mine, it's just all gray. He also has arm cannons. So he has two arm cannons that are sculpted on the figure, but then he has these extra cannons which attach to these holes on the bottom of his uh, lower arm here. He's got the little hole and then these cannons have these little pegs. And so you just plug them in and I believe, again, these are supposed to be extra arm cannons. Now, the cannons themselves have this piece that um, has a little bit of articulation. I don't know if these are supposed to be magazines or something, but you can either have them folded closed or folded open like that. Now, I will note that sometimes they fit in tightly. You know, they don't fall out, but when you start moving the figure around and posing it. It can be easy to knock these. Um, they will fall out sometimes. And he's got one for each arm. Now besides that, he also has a pair of extra hands. So he's got open hands and then closed fisted hands. So I've got one closed fisted and one open hand on the figure now. And it's easy to switch them out. You just pop out the hand like you know, with the little peg joint and then pop in the hand that you want. Finally, he has two additional uh, cannons for his shoulder. Um, I think these are made for like when he's in flight. So he's got one with a rectangle base. So you put that in the right shoulder. And that looks more like a machine gun. And then he's got the other one with a square. And so you plug that into the left shoulder. Now this one, this one fits in much tighter than the shoulder cannon. So I haven't had any problem with this one falling out. And it looks very similar to the shoulder cannon. I think it's supposed to be the shoulder cannon just having it basically uh, point straight out. So again, I think, I think this is made so like when he's in a flight pose, he has these two cannons facing forward. Okay, so for the figure itself, I do believe this is a new sculpted figure. I don't think it's a reuse of an existing Iron Man or War Machine figure. It's definitely not a reuse of the Age of Ultron figure. And though it looks somewhat similar to the Iron Man 2 figure that we got, which I think was released as a Walmart exclusive, if I remember correctly, it is different from that figure as well. The paint applications on the figure are nice. I like the detailing with like his name on his chest plate. You can clearly say, see it says Lieutenant James Colonel Rhodes. I like the little star with the wings on the shoulder and you've got the 003 on the bicep. The arc reactor has got a almost reddish fluorescent pink type color on the outside and then a white with a little bit of red tint in the middle. Same with the eyes. You've got the red outline with the white in the middle. So I think that looks good. I like the silver face plate with the dark gray on the sides of the helmet. Even on the back, you've got some nice detailing um, with these holes sculpted and these little triangle things, which I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be, but I think it looks pretty good for the most part. You've got some silver plating down here on his upper legs, and then again down here on his lower legs. Same with the front. So again, overall, I think the paint applications are pretty solid. He's got those um, side cannons, as I mentioned before, and they're the same on both arms. So I think the figure looks good. It's definitely a bit bulkier than that Age of Ultra Ultron War Machine and the gray colors are not as dark as on that Age of Ultron War Machine. More in keeping with the uh, Iron Man 2 War Machine uh, paint applications between these two figures are very similar. Articulation on the figure is pretty much in keeping with the other Iron Man figures. He can look left and right, heads on a ball hinge joint, so he can look down actually pretty good, better than the Age of Ultron War Machine. And he can look back a little bit, but still not very good for flight poses. You've got the shoulder pads, which have a little bit of articulation to it so he can get his arm out good again though you can't rotate the arm all the way around you can only do it forward and back he's got a bicep swivel he's got a double hinged elbow so good bending at the elbow he's got swivels at the wrist he has hinges on the hands but they're kind of covered up by the lower arm so he can only bend his 
arm down or his hand down that much. And because of this piece that comes out over the hand, he can't do the hands up at all. He's got a midsection joint, so he's got rotation there at the midsection. Not a whole lot in the way of crunch there. Can't really look back either. Legs are tapped with ball joints. Now, you can only do the splits about that much, so he can't really do the splits very well. He can get his leg forward pretty good, and he can do his leg back decently. You've got rotation there, high up there on the thigh. You've got a double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. And then with the feet, you've got a little bit of up and down movement, but not a whole lot. Again, the feet are pretty much covered by the armor pieces of the leg, so that limits a lot of the feet movement. And then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. So War Machine stands just a little bit under six and a half inches tall, and then Disco Armor Iron Man stands almost exactly six and a half inches tall. So the Iron Man figure is a little bit taller than War Machine. Here's a comparison with the Civil War Iron Man figure, which you can see is a bit taller than War Machine, as well as the Age of Ultron War Machine, and then the Iron Man 2 War Machine, which is the smallest of the bunch. So that's my view. Overall, I like this set. I like the War Machine figure. I like the way it looks. I like the weaponry that he comes with. My only real complaint with it is I don't like how the shoulder cannon fits so loosely in the hole on his shoulder. Also, articulation could be maybe a little bit better, especially with the head. If he could look back more for flight poses, that would be nice. The Disco Armor Iron Man, obviously it's a repaint, but it's kind of a silly repaint that I think works. You know, it make, definitely stands out over your other Iron Man figures, and so if you're like building a hall of armor i think this will make a nice addition to that so this set is not yet out on shelves as i said before it will be a target store exclusive i don't have an exact release date i'm guessing within the next month but i don't know for sure i picked my set up from a guy in hong kong so i could do an advanced review and i don't have an exact release date we'll have a full image gallery up at marvelousnews.com there's a link in the description below as always leave a comment let us know what you think if you're so inclined please like the video also, if you haven't already, please follow me on Facebook and or Twitter. I'll have links to those pages in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.